Well, Australian Vanadium and Technology Metals Australia has signed off on a $217 million merger, which will put their individual projects south of Waluna under one roof. Under a scheme of arrangement, Australian Vanadium will acquire all shares in Technology Metals. Ian Prentice, Managing Director of Technology Metals Australia, joins me now. Just tell us uh, how significant this merger is and, and welcome. Yeah, thanks very much, Nadine. Yeah, it is a very significant merger, and, and look, it's uh, it's an interesting situation where we've had Australian Vanadium and Technology Metals developing um, assets um, that are joining each other effectively on the same ore body. So, so we've been working along on that development pathway for some time. Um, this is a, a logical consolidation of that um, into one entity. So the single ore body then becomes uh, into one entity and, and uh, really unlocks a, a whole range of synergies and, and benefits for, for our shareholders. So just tell us about some of those benefits and what uh, your shareholders can expect under this agreement. Yeah, certainly. I think you know it, it is a really unique opportunity, as they say, to to really look at the, the ore body in its entirety and 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 run through from from square one around the, the full development spectrum. So there's going to be a, a number of, of of benefits within the development of the ore body itself, and they they will flow through into into you know clear benefits from from a project valuation point of view. But also it simplifies the the messaging. So we we've been running, as I say, in, in a parallel pathway to to develop our projects. Now we're we're now working together as one. Um, so for investors, um, you know, this is going to be the the um, this premier vanadium development uh, opportunity on the Australian Stock Exchange. So it's very, very, you know, I guess, easy now for the people to look at where, where is their opportunity in vanadium and well, equally with the uh, the financiers for these projects. So, you know, this is a large scale critical minerals project. So so really important to capture the, um, the financiers into that. And so, again, simplifying the messaging with one project that's being developed that's going to be at the forefront of developing a vanadium industry here in Australia. I think that's a really big benefit for us. There does seem to be an increasing sentiment towards vanadium rising. Just tell us exactly how important this commodity is and, and what it's used for mainly. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess it's a really interesting for us. We've been on this journey with with vanadium for a number of years now. And, and you know, vanadium has got a traditional market in the steel industry. So it's a steel additive, steel alloying agent, and that really underpins the vanadium demand. But the, the real real excitement and the real momentum we're seeing in that space is into the into the battery market. So Vanadium is, is used in uh, large scale, um, long duration energy storage. So as we're transitioning towards net zero, more and more large scale renewable energy projects are being developed. These large scale, long duration energy storage um, is very much required and, and, and equally being very much talked about now across the spectrum. So, and a vanadium redox battery is, is the, 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 one of the ideal solutions for that to really, you know, that, that sort of overnight sort of storage of, and release of energy. What sort of recovery rate are you looking for in the open mine? So, so it's a, there's a range of there's a range of open pits, and as we consolidate this in uh, between the two companies, there's going to be a, a number of of uh, I guess with, with within the one ore body, there's going to be a number of um, pits that will be developed, and there's so there will be a range of, of recoveries of the vanadium and, and a range of strip ratios, and that's really I guess. What we're doing right now, we've established a working group that has the technical teams from both sides coming together to actually look at all those things and work through all of the benefits of that and how best to to really develop this ore body. So, so some of those things will come through in the work we're doing right now as as we lead you know through the uh, I guess the the phases of of the uh, the merger. We're seeing as well in terms of uh, demand for vanadium very much underpinned by global steel growth. How worrying is it what we see in China in terms of a potential slowdown impacting your own uh, markets and demand, I guess, for the metal? Yes, yeah, so certainly that's a that's a near term impact, um, and you know we're seeing that in in if you like what the spot price of vanadium is is telling us you know today. Um, you know we're, we're looking at developing a project, so we're we're at the point of, of moving through into you know final studies and development phase, all the approvals, and then starting construction. So we're some way off from being in production, and as I say, I guess the. The real thing for us is the the excitement for us is looking at at the battery market and, and the expectations of, of really significant growth in demand on the battery side 
And so, yeah, certainly today um, in the market, and particularly as you say in the China steel market, there there is there is that there's some headwinds in that space. But we see medium to long term that the the market is going to grow significantly into that battery space. And and how much of that growth also comes from Australia? Would you expect? I mean, this is a market pretty much dominated by China, by Russia, uh, by South Africa as well. Yeah, again, I guess, you know, we are in that unique situation where we've got the premier deposit in Australia. Um, and so we can really diversify the, the market, if you like. So it is very much a, a market that's been historically dominated by China, Russia and South Africa. So developing a project in Australia is, is really, really important in the critical mineral space. Um, we also see a great opportunity to capture the full supply chain or the full value chain. So, so not only will we be mining the vanadium ore, processing it through to battery precursor, but we also, as a, as a merged entity, we're very much looking at, at producing the critical vanadium electrolyte here in Australia that will then feed into the battery. So really facilitating that full value change. And I, mean, I suppose really that means we're, we're looking at, at, at being at the forefront of developing a whole new industry here in Australia. And, and we see huge opportunities in that space, as I say, as we transition to net zero. Uh, exactly. That's obviously going to be a huge uh, driver for, for so many companies in your space or so many companies globally, I guess. Um, I just wanted to ask, as you talk about the fact of this merger or this arrangement, what sort of potential shareholder return are you hoping to achieve in the sort of shorter term, that five year period? So, again, I guess, you know, we're at a really interesting stage for both projects because we're on, on the cusp of, of developing those projects. So it's it's. We're in that phase of, of um, you know, moving into construction and through to commissioning. So we're at that cycle in, in a project development. So really, you know, over a five year window, that, that gets us to being in production and, and generating product and really demonstrating the, the earnings potential of the business. And so, you know, obviously we'd expect a you know, significant re-rating as you go through those stages and, and, and delivering that value to our shareholders.